we knew there was a problem with alcohol. We didn't think there was a problem with, with other drugs uh, as he finished high school. And then when he went to college, um, uh, everything really, really went downhill after that. One of the uh, bits of advice that I was given when I called COPAC and was asking them, am I making a mistake, is does he really have a, a problem? And, and basically she said, is there any part of his life that has been disruptive because of drugs or alcohol? And I said, oh, yeah. And she said, then he's got a problem. And that very much is, was, is anybody needs to go by that philosophy. If, if your life is being disrupted or your son or daughter's life is being disrupted by drugs or alcohol, whether it's grades, relationships, an arrest, a DUI, anything, then you need to get your child help. I didn't know we had a choice at the time when things were so bad and Jane discovered that we did and so we were able to to get Robert committed to COPAC and uh, it's um, I'm just so grateful we were able to do it. I don't, I'm, we feared that he was either going to um, get arrested or to die or to have somebody else die as a result of his actions. And uh, we knew that one of those three things were, were going to occur. So um, and we're just so grateful we were able to get him there and, and have him protected for, for eight months. The changes that we saw in our son were incredible and they were even little changes as he was in his recovery. It is amazing the things that you will latch on to that you notice. I mean, the first weekend he came to stay with us, he took his plate to the sink. It's real funny, occasionally I'll say something um, I'll tell him, I'll say, you know, I'm so proud of you. And he'll say, don't, don't be proud of me. Don't, let's just take one day at a time. He still very much wants to take very much one day at a time, but he is working hard and you can tell, I mean, he goes, uh, he'll work all day. And then sometimes he goes to two AA meetings when he gets off work. And he may be going to an AA meeting at nine or 10 o'clock at night. And he goes to an AA meeting every single day and he works really, really hard not only at his job that he's getting paid for, but he's working very hard at his recovery. We are very proud of him.